Hi everyone, I'm excited today because I'm going to be trying out my new Bambino colouring crayons. I'm going to be using them on this. Now this is quite a small ticket and in my experience crayons need quite a big area. But I'm quite, I want to know how they're going to work and on my ticket page I have been testing out all sorts of different types of pencils and pens. So actually they're very, very pointy. Very pointy. I wonder how we sharpen them though. Anyways, let's not worry about it. Let's pull them out. Now, there's a big range of colours. As you can see, we've got black and grey. Brown, that's... Is that purple? Or is that brown? We've got a light brown, then the dark two purples are green. We've got blues, another green and green. That's a sort of bluey green. Then we've got gold and silver, pink. Pinky red, red, orange, orange, sort of light pinky peach yellows and a white so that's quite fun we're going to try out every single one on this elephant page hopefully we've got enough little sections so we can try it all out now the first bit is the elephant itself now what i love is the gray pencil that's got elephants on it which is fantastic so we're going to color in the um, elephant with the wow there's a lot of fight that's a vibrant look at that very vibrant it's it's actually drier than I expected I've just been using some Holbein pencils so they were really smooth and this doesn't feel smooth under my fingers in the same sort of way that I would have expected and you can hear it it sounds a bit scratchy but it isn't leaving any sort of scratchy mark it doesn't feel unpleasant to use so that's rather nice. We're going to colour around these leaves, obviously. I'm not doing any sort of shading with them. Um, it just feels like it's just quite vibrant. I'm going to try going lighter and then darker and see whether I can get some shade. So if I go light here and then get darker, yeah, I can shade it, but I'm going to make that all dark because it's behind. The same with this one. I'm quite interested in how smudgy they might be but I don't want to risk running my finger over them on this page to see so I'll uh, I might do that on some scrap in a minute. It'll be also interesting to see how well they keep their point and how long they last which is not something I'll be able to test here. I mean, we've done that whole elephant, and to me, that looks pretty pointy still. I'm going to just, I am going to do that experiment I said I was. Oh, I've got some scrap. A bit of scrap paper. Hmm, I've got one tiny little smudge line there, which you probably can't see. There's none on my finger, so that's good. It might smudge more on this book, because this book is quite slick. I find the page is quite slick and slippy. Now I'm going to grab the black next. I'm going to show you the picture on the black. It's got little ducks. And I'm just going to shade a few areas with the black. Just to, because I want to use all the colours. I thought rather than shading with the grey, I'd shade with the black. Just for interest, so that we can see how well it works. Now, my husband is really excited to try these pencils. Do you think I should let him? Pencils, the crayons. He really wants to know how they're going to work. He doesn't really ever normally interested in my um, in my colouring items, so I'm quite. It's interesting that he just wants to try these out. Okay, I've just, as you've seen, I've just added a bit of shadow to various areas. Hopefully you, you sort of kept up with what I was up to there. Now, this colour, I don't know what it is. It's next to purple, but it looks brown. So I'm just going to scribble it. Oh, it's definitely brown. Okay, each of these stripes, I'm going to do a different colour, just so that we can try out all the colours and see what's going on. We'll do the leaves um, in the green. Now, the pencils are in a weird order in the box, I think, so we'll see. Now, what we'll do is what we've done on the other tickets and put lots of layers and lots of pressure on the outside 
and then reduce that as we go towards the middle and that will help us see how well we can get different shades of colour. Look at that. Wow. I am mega impressed, I have to say. <clears throat> now my next one looks like a red. It's pink. So we're going to leave that for a minute. We're going to go with this one, which is brown. I didn't show you the picture on the last one, sorry. It's a horse. This brown one has got a picture of a... What is that? Well, it's a sort of gecko type thing, I think. And we're going to go in here. I don't know whether to make this sort of rainbowy or random, really. I think I'll do it rainbowy. That seems to make sense to me. Look at that, that's lovely. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go across to yellow because I think that sort of makes sense. And we've got this sort of brownish yellow and there's a picture on there and I'm trying to see what it is. I think that's a monkey. They're quite hard to make out. So, quite dark, that's a nice colour, isn't it? Do you imagine using that for a background? It's beautiful. Wow. Liking that. And now there's a lighter yellow. Here we go, and I can't see what's on the paper. Hang on. Bear with me. It's a cockerel. You may be able to see. I don't know, the light's a bit blinding. With the white on yellow. It's probably would have been better if they'd printed on the lighter colour ones in black but hey yeah. it's a bit hard to get a define a difference in colour there <sighs> between the dark and the light it's always tricky with yellow we're gonna now move on to orange and here's our orange it's got a cat oh, I like I'm, I'm really enjoying finding out what's on the end paper I feel like I've regressed to a child it's lovely That's nice. It's not massively intense for orange, which is rather nice. Sometimes they're a bit over the top, I always feel. Now here we've got another orange, and that's hmm, a big cat, puma, leopard. What do you reckon? I'll let you guess. Well, that's quite a reddy orange, isn't it? Then that's, that's, but it's got a sort of brownish tone, like a pumpkin, I would say, which I rather like. We're not going to worry about shadowing under his feet or anything. We're just going to do our fade thing so that we can just have a look and see. It does leave debris behind, but I think you would expect that. I certainly would of a pencil like this. And here we've got what I would think is probably the proper red. This is a rabbit. I'm not going to do a red rabbit. I think the, uh, I think the pictures must just be a bit random, but I like that. Nothing wrong with random. So little circles fade towards the middle. Kind of darken that up a little bit on the edge there. Do more of a graduation of colour. There we go. That isn't quite as an intense a red as perhaps I was expecting. But we have got, now I think this is the pinky red. And it's got a picture of a dinosaur on it, which is fun. Oh yeah, that's pink. And that is intense, but very pretty. I like that shade of pink. So sort of flamingo pink, I would say. Not a dinosaur. <sighs> okay, now we go on to this sort of purpley pink. And we have a picture of a whale. Now we have paper on these. Now I think if I was sharpening them, I'd probably tear the paper down a little bit. It's difficult, I've never sharpened crayons before. As a child, I used to use crayons as they blunted. I just never occurred to me to sharpen them, especially those thick ones that you, of course, wouldn't get in a sharpener. That's a lovely color, isn't it? Now we're gonna skip about in the tray because we come to the silver and gold next. So we're gonna to go to this color, which is a purpley color. We've got an elk. I would think on here. Now I haven't counted how many slots we've got and how many colours we've got. So we could end up with an interesting situation. We'll see what happens. It's just
just one of my normal wing it videos. Let's see what happens. What is interesting is they've got a very matte look as opposed to shiny because they're clay crayons, camel. Um, they don't have the shine that a wax crayon has and I think that's why also they're not smooth in the same sort of way but they are luscious to colour with I have to say. I can uh, certainly see why people rave about them. I don't know how much they are, they were a present, so uh, my birthday present. This looks blue in camera, it's purple, and that is a fish. I don't know how, what it, it's difficult with colours because um, it might look wrong on my camera compared to the page, but also your monitor will have a different colour to mine and everything else, so we didn't get much of an opportunity to fade that one out. Um, so it's a, as I say it's a little tricky now we're going for a green uh, yeah that's green obviously no blue and that is a seal with a ball on its nose and we're gonna put this one up here oh that's intense I like that now I know that Bambino actually sell a wooden pen a wooden crayon extender to go with the these but I didn't get one so you can uh, if they get a bit short, you don't have to worry too much. She's a kangaroo, which is a really interesting idea. And uh, if I find I really like them and I use them a lot, I may invest. I'm not a big fan of extenders on pencils at all, though. So I may find I can cope without one. The reason I don't like them is because the ones I have have got a very sharp, grippy bit. Um, it's a bird, I'll show you. Here, it's all rough, it hurts my hand when I use it. And you have to take them out to sharpen them. And I'm just too lazy, I just don't want to do that. So that's a nice blue colour. That's quite a sky blue, isn't it? <sighs> right, we've got a sort of... Um, greeny blue here and on it we have hmm, a koala interesting choice of animal well, I don't know where these are made but I don't think they're Australian looks luscious I really like that right now we have got two greens so we're going to do our leaves we've got a lightish green with a cow and a darker green with a frog now I think I'm going to try a couple of techniques with these leaves I'm going to try doing a bit of green here and then we'll put the lighter one on top and see whether it um, blends in because so we do need to do a blend don't we I can't believe how well those colours worked we've got actually got um, one left one colour and the metallics so actually it didn't work brilliantly well but we'll see it's a little bit there and we'll see how well that blends in with this lighter green I don't know if they have names, I'm just looking, no, I think it's just the address on every one of the manufacturers. Oh, it's raining. Well, we can certainly say that blends. <sighs> Look. Wow. Very good. Right. Just pop those back. So we haven't used the white either. So we've got this very pale colour left and the gold and silver. What I think I'm going to do is use the gold and silver either side so we can see them and then use the, the pale one around the edge. So my idea is to use the silver here, use it hard there and fade it down. 
Now I think this is going to be a bit like a silver pencil, having had a look at it before I uh, before I use them. Um, I think it looks like it's got little shiny elements within it and it's not necessarily going to look massively shiny but I always find um, it's not very well blended is it? That's my fault not the pencil, Pen uh, crayon. Um, if I tip it up towards my light, no we don't get any sort of shine, I'm going to try turning a pain. It's not, it's shinier than the others, I don't know, there, if you can see at the bottom, there's a tiny bit of shine that comes on it, um, but um, because the other ones are so very flat and matte, there is definitely a bit more shine than those, but uh, not loads, but that's okay. As I say, that's what I expected. It's the sort of light you would get with a metallic pencil, really. It's really nice to be able to have a chance to use these because I get adverts all the time on my Facebook for these. So see if we can make the gold shine. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, that's my light as well, which isn't helping. So now this pale colour is what we're going to use for the edge. So, oh, I didn't show you what was on them. <gasps> We've got a mouse on the silver, or a rat. I'm going to say a mouse. And a hedgehog. And then on this pinky colour, we have got... Hmm, a bear? What do you reckon? Maybe. Don't know. Now, as normal with this outside, I'm going to do it darker on the edge and try and fade it towards the centre. I don't know how effective it will be on such a pale colour, but I think it's okay. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the camera because it's quite a, a pale colour. I think I might have been tempted to use this maybe more for blending because it's quite pale. But then sometimes you might want a really light one. I guess it might do if you want to do a pale skin tone, maybe. Because I suppose if you're if crayon if crayons are your only source of uh, colouring material and you've got skin to do. This would probably be a good one, as I say, if you want to do a very pale skin tone. And you can always mix it with some of the darker ones, otherwise. I always do pale because that's what I know, but obviously that's not what everybody does. So there we are. The um, As I say, this outside doesn't show up brilliantly. We haven't tried the white. I'll show you the white. Um, it has a... Um, what is that? Oh, it's a rabbit or a hare. I thought we already had a rabbit. Hmm. I thought we had a rabbit on the grey. Am I going mad? No. Oh, yes, I am. That was an elephant. I thought... Oh. I don't know now. I'm doubting myself. Sorry. I'm curious. I want to know where it was. Felt sure we had a rabbit. I thought it was red. Yeah, there it is. No. Yeah, I'm not going mad. Anyways, I had to just prove to you I wasn't mad, which it almost shows that I am, doesn't it? Really. <laughs> so that's that's elephant, and I think he's come out brilliantly. I'm so thrilled with those. I am amazed, to be quite honest, and uh, I'm definitely going to be using them some more, definitely. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that video and little review. I'll just pop the uh, pop the box there so you can remember what we were uh, what we were colouring with. So uh, there we go. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, and happy colouring.